now going through a lot of pain that um, the automotive and the on-highway um, commercial vehicle world has been through in the last 15 years. Um, there's a strive for improved CO2 emissions, um, NOx emissions control and also sulphur oxide emission control. Recent regulations have led to a fundamental change throughout the industry, from engine design to engine room management, fuel and lubrication oil development and production. 2020 will see a further reduction in the sulphur content of fuel oil used globally, from the current 3.5% to 0.5%. With operators challenged by changing regulations and continued economic pressures, the need to protect engines effectively and efficiently is more important than ever. This video series will address the key operational topics of lubrication, cold corrosion, cat fines, engine inspections and managing operating costs. We're seeing engines with much higher pressures and higher temperatures and all of these bring challenges from a lubrication perspective. For all their efficiency and reliability, marine engines must be carefully managed. A large two-stroke diesel is a robust and reliable machine, operating for long periods without a break. But with the introduction of new engine designs developed to reduce emissions, a number of technical challenges have arisen. To help mitigate issues such as cold corrosion, engineers can, through caution, over-lubricate without testing for the optimum feed rate. However, over-lubrication can be as damaging as under-lubrication, with the excess oil forming a hard deposit leading to accelerated cylinder wear. The latest generation of slow-speed engines combine lower emission rates and better fuel economy by running effectively at part or even very low loads, but at a cost. Cool running and higher pressure means temperatures at the cylinder wall will fall well below the dew point of the combustion gases, leading to increased acid and water condensation. This produces sulfuric acid, leading to cold corrosion that can cause catastrophic damage to cylinder liners and components. Cat fines begin right at the point of fuel production and are substances like silicon and aluminium compounds which are required as catalysts in the refining process known as catalytic cracking or cat cracking. On board a vessel, if fuel oil has been stored for long periods, cat fines in the fuel will settle at the bottom of the tank. In rough weather, these particles can be stirred up and if centrifugal purifiers are incorrectly set up, the cat fines can reach the engine with the potential to cause major damage. Engine inspections are a necessary part of operational management. All engines require regular servicing and this is the opportunity to examine, by eye, its internal condition. Scrape-down tests will provide a report of wear rates and potential corrosive damage but a close inspection is the best way to evaluate the health of an engine and to advise on what level of service or repair is required. ExxonMobil has used the data gathered from over half a million individual scrape-down tests to build up a real operational insight into the issues facing a wide range of engine type and design. This data has led to ExxonMobil developing the Mobile Serve Cylinder Condition Monitoring Service, providing vital information and guidance that is available to all those at the sharp end of engine management. I don't think it can be overstated that sensor technology is coming to the fore. Um, if we look at engines today compared to yesterday, we've got much more um, technology available to understand exactly what is happening within the engine. And engineers should embrace this. If an engineer isn't performing oil analysis and regular inspections on an engine, you're essentially flying blind. You won't know the condition of your engine and you could risk complete failure. In this introductory program of the series, we have seen how strict emission legislation is changing the marine landscape and how operators and engineers are having to respond to some tough challenges. In the next program, We'll look at two-stroke engine lubrication, considering the dangers of over and under cylinder lubrication, 
and explain how to determine the optimum feed rate that suits the engine, operating conditions and cylinder oil in use. For further information and guidance on the subjects covered, visit the website at exxonmobil.com forward slash marine.